Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. Have here a Renault traffic again. Okay, so this vehicle has a check anti pollution system fault, uh, engine management light on, spanner lights on. Of course, now I've had a little bit of a heads up from the customer about what it might be, and uh, he's had other people looking at it, but nobody seems to be able to want to repair it or give him a 100% answer on what it may be. Some people are saying it might be this, it might be that, and we can try and change this, or we can try and change that. Um, so, some of these items that wanted to be changed, of course, was the AdBlue module itself, the NUX sensors, and he's, they've had the DPF off and cleaned that on a machine and put it back on, and various other bits and pieces have been done. I'm not 100% sure what else, but we'll plug it in and then uh, have a look at the fault codes that we're looking at, and uh, we'll go from there. So again, I'll use this tool, ThinkScan 689BT, and I'll put a link in the video description where you can buy this from the genuine seller, and a link for the tool and a 10% discount code, which is Jimmy O'Reilly. Um, and if you buy it from my link, I get something like 5% or something. So let's get the scan ready. Run all traffic three. Now these are also known as a Vauxhall Vivaro, Nissan Primastar, Nissan NV300, um, Fiat Talento, they're all the same van, they just got a different badge basically. So we're going to do a search for this, and if it is a knock sensor, right, I'm going to show you a trick on these, which can save you a lot of confusion. So you can see there in the engine it's not got any faults. Well, it's not showing any on there anyway. So the customer's words to me were he's got an issue with the AdBlue Dawson module um, and it's given a check in anti-pollution system fault but nobody seems to give him an answer on what's going on. So fault codes are now ready to have a look at so let's have a look. Okay we have transponder and then we have urea dosing module c 59 f Eight, seven. So we've got the same code twice, and that is AdBlue dosing module computer missing message. And I've had a lot of people change the AdBlue dosing module, and it doesn't fix the fault. All right, and I'm going to show you a little trick what we can do for these to find out exactly what that code means, because the Renault system doesn't really tell you. All right, um, details. I don't know. I haven't gone through this yet, but let me just see if anything comes up on them. maybe a, a Google search for the code. See, it doesn't give you any defined information. Add blue dosing module. I have a DTC C59 F87. Can't get to the bottom of it. Checked all the fuses. Replaced the add blue module. But still, yeah, so exactly what I was just saying there. Add the sensor and the codes cleared, but it went straight back to the dash. Codes now say you read dosing module computer. So you can see a lot of people have an issue with this. So if we go back from here going to go all the way back I'm going to go in here and manually pick this as an Opel or Vauxhall uh, Vauxhall, Opel, same thing we'll go with Opel because it's a bit more a bit more generic so I'll, Vauxhall is only used in, in England so um, Opel is sort of all of Europe so we'll go with that one it's going to be more recognisable for more people I suppose automatic search now again if we scan this vehicle it comes up as an Opel Vivaro B of course or a Vauxhall Vivaro B if you're from England ok now if we look on this system we get a different fault code which is a more of a recognisable fault code basically which is a U059F invalid data from NOx sensor number one so that is now telling us exactly where the fault is lying where the Renault system doesn't uh, it's a very common issue so NOx sensor number one it's a very common issue uh, I mean you could just mostly just whack a new sensor on this and you're almost guaranteed a fix um, but we can check 
that we've got voltage um, earth and signal supply down at the at the wiring so we're gonna find out if we can get hold of a knock sensor now and um, I'll ring you back uh, we'll ring you back I'll um, I will get back sorry and um, yeah I mean I probably should have should have um, had some knock sensors ordered in advance but I wasn't really sure he said Dolson module and it could have been anything um, plus it could have been knock sensor one knock sensor two which are, these are like 400 pound each and I don't want to order one if I don't need it because um, yeah my part supplier gets a bit upset when I do that okay so I've had a chat to the part suppliers we can't get one until two o'clock half two so, so maybe closer to three o'clock it's it's half eleven now so we're gonna have to get back in a couple hours if we can get hold of the sensor and then we'll we'll fit it on and we can go through the rest of the video a quick try of just trying to clear the code we can see I've already tried to clear it but we can see that it doesn't clear the fault code comes back um, that's good in a way because we will get a, an immediate verification once we fitted the new one if the fault clears once the new part is fitted one strange thing I would say is even though we still have the fault we no longer have check anti-pollution so that is our old part I have skipped forward a bit I, I'm trying to do two different repairs here at once because we've got a crafter over there that I'm doing um, but yeah basically that is the old part very common ignition on new sensor is fitted under there now we just clear the fault codes and rescan it we're doing a rescan now we've just cleared the codes and we should have all clear that's it so yeah there's your urea dosum it's all clear fault's gone okay so that is it basically uh, once you've got your voltage and signal wire on the van I've, I haven't really shown the full procedure but it's just it's pretty much straightforward swap over a uh, new knock sensor and it's job done so see you on the next video